In this tutorial, I'm going to talk you through some of the features and functionality of our tool for Unity, which is called Colors. So this tool is an editor extension, and it allows you to procedurally generate different color palettes. So I'm going to use some of these examples that we've got to show you each one of the algorithms that the tool comes with. Just to show you how to access the script, you can make an empty game object in your scene, add a component, scripts, and palette generator. You can then select the algorithm that you'd like to use. I've already set up a few scenes for us to play around in. So the first algorithm is called uniform randomness. So for each one of the algorithms you can set the number of colors that you'd like in the palette. And for uniform randomness it simply selects random RGB values. So there's no particular structure to your palette um, and there's no patterns in the colors that are selected. So by playing the scene you can then see that most of the colors are all quite different. You can press spacebar um, to move between random sequences of that algorithm and palette. Um, that, that's just something we've set up for the examples inside of, inside of the examples. Okay, for our next algorithm um, this is called random walk. Um, again, you can set the number of colors that you'd like and then set a starting color. So I'm going to stick with white here. And how random walk works is that each consecutive color will be offset by a random value from the previous color. And then you can set the maximum offset and the minimum offset that you'd like each successive color to be offset from the previous one. And then there'll be a random value chosen between the values that you choose. Um, you can then also fix the luminance so that the luminance will be equivalent to the um, luminance of the first color or the original color selected. So you can see then there's a little bit more consistency. I've made it quite a high um, offset here just to give an example. By lowering the offset you can see now the colors are much more much more similar. Okay, so for our next example, I'll go back to our room, and this is this algorithm is called gradient. Um, so there's four different modes. Um, so for each one of them, you can create a gradient, um, and each of the colors selected in your palette will be across that color gradient. So the first mode is called even. And this simply then evenly distributes your colors across the gradient. So there's be an equal distance between each of the colors on your gradient. Okay, just to show you here. Just lowering the number of colors and then you can see then how it's pretty evenly distributed over the objects. The second mode is called jitted. And this allows you to change the distance between each of the colors by changing the level of jitted. You can see now it's a little bit less evenly distributed. And that's the result. Okay, the third mode is called random. And as the name suggests, this just takes a random um, selection of colors across the gradient in no particular order. And then you can change that. Okay, for the last mode, I'm going to use a different example. So this is called golden ratio. You can see here I've used a slightly different gradient. Okay, and how golden ratio works is um, each successive color has a high contrast to the previous color. Um, so this is great for a GUI where you'd like a high contrast um, between your colors. Um, in golden ratio, no color is ever repeated twice, but after quite a few colors, it does get quite close. Okay, for our next algorithm, let me go back to the bushes example. And this is random offset. So similar to random walk, you pick a starting color, I'll go with maybe a bit more gray on this one. And 
then again you can choose an offset value um, however this time each color in the palette is offset to the original color unlike random walking where it's the previous color so this way you can get a little bit more consistency with your colors I'm gonna make the offset quite low and that's the result Okay, we'll stick on this for the next example, which is random mix. So for this algorithm, you basically select three colors, and then each of the colors in your palette will be a different mix of those three colors. You can also then set the amount of gray that you want inside of the palette, and you can change between another mode, which is called paint, which is a slightly different technique to get your colors. Okay, so for our next few examples, I'm going to use this scene. Okay, so the, the next few algorithms are quite straightforward. The first is random hue, and uh, like the name suggests, um, it creates a random hue for you each time. And then you're able to change the level of saturation and the level of luminance. So you can see when I play the scene, the hue is generated randomly, keeping the luminance and saturation consistent with the values that you choose. Next up is random saturation. And again, the saturation is randomized with your hue and luminance being what you set it to be. Cool. Next up is random luminance. So again, you can set your saturation, um, set your hue, and the luminance will then be randomized. Cool. Then lastly, with the set is random saturation and luminance. So here you simply set your hue, and the saturation and luminance is randomized for you. Okay, for the next example, we're going to use Harmony algorithm. So for this, um, you can choose your color count. Um, then a color will be randomly selected off the color wheel. And you can then choose two colors which are offset at an angle to the original color. So, for instance, if you wanted something quite contrasting, um, you could go 180 degrees away from that color. I'm going to do something where I, I'll make the first color 170, the second 190. And then you've got the range of angles for each of your colors. So, how much range you want it to defer um, from the angle that you choose. So, for instance, 15 degrees will be 15 degrees either side of the angles on your color wheel. You can then select the saturation level and you can select the range for your saturation and then similarly your luminance and your luminance range. Cool. And then for our last two examples, we we'll go back to the GUI. So the first is tints. And this simply has a varying level of tint, in other words, how much white is included um, and spaced over your objects. Cool, so quite suitable for a GUI. And then similarly, shades, which is the equivalent using black. Cool. So that's the end of the algorithms. There's just one last thing I'd like to show you. And that's uh, an example of how to link your color palette to your scene. So this is just one way of doing it that we have included with our examples. Um, there's also there's lots of other ways that you could yourself could, could implement this type of thing. 
So what we did um, for our examples was to create groups of objects um, that you could then link to certain colors. So we created a group of objects for our planes, our walls and ceilings, another group for our chairs, and then a third group of unique objects. So each one of these other objects have a unique color. So you can see, I'm going to make something quite high contrasting. And when I play the scene, you can see the colors of the chairs are consistent, of the planes are consistent, and then there's unique colors for unique objects. So as I said, this is an example of how to do it. This is one way we did it. But there's lots of other ways that you can do it yourself. And that's the end of the tutorial.